Hello everybody and welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a video on Legends of El Relia. El Area? I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but that's okay. Uh, this is just at the end of the tutorial mission actually, and this is right before you step into the portal to go to your new land because this land is under attack by enemies actually. And yes, there is actually a um, character creator in this game but uh, I'll touch upon that a little bit further into the video anyway let's go explore this new land as you can see that we just got spawned into the new land the landscape is not as beautiful as it could be um, very heavy on bloom effects little drip in FPS Alright, as you can see that we just loaded into the world of Elria. I'm gonna just go with Elria. I'm just this is how I'm gonna pronounce the name of the game now. As you can see, it's very colorful, very vibrant. The world looks very pretty. Um the structures not so much rocks. Uh could look better, but then again this is a very early access game, as you can see at the very top right underneath the compass. Uh Characters uh, like NPCs do do random interact or not random interaction. They don't really interact you, interact with you, but they do random stuff around the village to make it feel more alive. And you can go inside your main base. These are your headquarters where you can get your missions and get shit started along with the main quest of sorts. So um, let's get started on that. We are now inside our city hall, and as you can see, very pretty still, but you know, some clipping issues. Not so bad, not too bad, but um, let's talk to our city advisor and see uh, what he has to tell us. Um, if you want to read through this, you can. Uh, you can pause the video at any time. He pretty much tells you what you can do around the city. Um all the things you can build and all that this is basically like your second tutorial but for city building and we're gonna go ahead and build a house so go ahead and exit loading times aren't that bad but anyway let's get into our building mode and our first objective is to build a house somewhere. So let's put it along the main road here. And then boom, you're done. Uh, villages throughout the city will start building that house. And up here is your resources. As you can see, each building costs a certain amount of resources to build. As you can see, I cannot build these things. Over here are features yet to come. So they don't really do anything as of right now. But while that is building, we can actually go back inside, tell them that the building is being built, and we can get our next quest. It actually did not let us continue until the house itself is done. So as you can see, you can see the civilians starting to build up the house, and they have scaffolding. And, you know, I didn't have to assign any villagers to do this. They just do this automatically. So... Um, there's a sense of when this game gets bigger, you don't have to micromanage everything. As long as you can also, uh, do some recruiting will also be coming soon and train will also be coming soon. So all these stuff over here will be coming soon. The only thing you can really do is construction. You can also recruit a uh, militia into your army. Uh, but that's later down the road. Well, not later down the road. That's just later along this mission. He'll, uh, let us buy militia members. And then once we do buy the militia members, we have to go inside, uh, various caves and, uh, dungeons of sorts to go get, uh, material for the city to get everything back up and moving again. Now, as you can see, uh, the game is very much in early access uh pop-ins happen a lot uh but you know you can't fault the game it's very very i don't want to say new but you know early access uh the game been in early access i'm not sure for how long but there is a roadmap to show you 
um, what exactly they're working on at in what month. So that's interesting. Um, as you can see here, some of the animations, you know, look kind of good. Personally, I wasn't a very much a fan of the sword fighting, and I'll show you why when that is actually, you know, uh, present. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can get the next quest started. So I'll see you guys in a few. All right, now we can finally move on with the second part of the quest. Now that we actually built the house, uh, now we can start recruiting local militia. And now I have some orders for the militia. I would like to recruit some soldiers. Uh, one. Anything else? Assemble all soldiers in the yard. Uh, everyone. Anything else? That's all for now. And then when we get out here, you're going to see all the militia members that we have. Somewhere. Oh, there they are. All four of them. Now, uh, unfortunately, unless this got changed, there's no way to actually um, give them commands. All they do really is just follow you around, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, but it does make them kind of look stupid. The AI pathing, not the best in the game, but, oh, forgot to turn off my phone. Uh, but, you know, it's still an early access. Um, the main feature they, they seem to be working on uh, is uh, world domination, which is pretty much like an RTS uh, um, Total War S type of thing that they want to do. And I'm all for it, but holy shit, that seems like a lot. But um, what I would like to see more of, instead of them worrying about world domination and all that stuff, is more polishing of the game. I feel like if they add more and more stuff to the game that isn't complete, it just makes what is already here feel empty. Uh, like, I don't know, maybe some interacting with citizens, some more uh, interaction between you and your military, which will probably come with world domination because, you know, world domination. But, um, you know, just like more things happen around the town, like, you know, maybe build a throne room and you can interact with your civilians when they have disputes and everything like that. You know, just something to make the game more lively and a lot more polishing. But anyway, let's go inside the cave. Oh, uh, this is the wrong side of the entrance. It should be over here. Yep, it's right here. All right. Now to get into some of the combat of the game. Uh, there is also a skill progression tree where you can upgrade certain uh, things in your character tree. So, uh, for example, if you want your character to be the warrior, then he can become a warrior. If you want him to be a thief he, or like a rift or you know other things like that, he can become that as well. Um, here is the different warrior classes that you can pick from. Uh, right now, I'm just going to become a regular old warrior. And I'm just going to put all my points towards this. Oh, whoops. Uh, I don't have any more points. I was just clicking through what <laughs> they do. My fault. But anyway, I like being an even character. Even Steven. I don't like putting too many points into one thing. Even though I only have magic right now. And I seem to be putting a lot of points into warrior s shit but anyway this is your current quest i don't have any right now and this is your current equipment sword let me actually equip that and bow let's see the military sword does a lot more dam. well not a lot but a little bit more damage and actually it goes up here i'm a dumbass but anyway let's get through this cave and show you some of the combat in the game it should be take the wood. Oh, there they are, right on time. All right. Oh, there we go. All 
as you can see here, uh, it's either right click to parry or left click to attack. Not a very complicated attack system. Not a very complicated attack scheme at all. No combos that you can really do. There is a stamina thing in the bottom left corner. So you can't spam the button. And for some reason it seems like only two of my four people decided to come in here. Actually no one's stuck in a wall it seems. Yep. Someone seems to be stuck in a wall. So they're all here according to the right top right hand corner of the screen they're all apparently inside the cave with me but they're not all visible which is you know another thing that is quite annoying and i wish they would you know uh clear out before you know they work on other features of the game my personal opinion they should fix all the uh small things before doing big things like world domination but that's just me I like, you know, having, like, the basic, the foundations good before, you know, you should do everything else. But that's my own opinion. I have never created a game before, so I probably don't have any room to say anything. But this is just my first impression of the game, a little review of the game. I like the game. Don't get me wrong. I like where it's going. I like the premise. But I just think it needs a lot more touch-up. Now, there is some polishing uh, that is in the roadmap that says it is down the road. And uh, that should be when the game is about to release. But I think it would be more important that they do that sooner. Again, personal opinion. And that they are going to do that. So, you know, that's a good thing. Um, the enemy types so far are either goblins or bandits and orcs I believe although I never seen orcs I only see goblins and bandits so don't quote me on that um other than that the game this is this is what you get this is you run through a dungeon uh, you collect resources you kill enemies that's the whole shebang right there that's that's the whole game pretty much for right now so I'm just running through this real quick. Uh, there's not a lot of things to do in the very beginning, as you can see. And I see that my uh, previous statement with only there being uh, uh, bandits and goblins is a blatant lie now. Considering that there's a weird head crap shit. And where the fuck is my militia? Alright, this is good. Like I said, the AI pathing is not the best in this game. And the AI, I would hope, would just please get smarter. Uh, actually, oh, they seem to all have died because they attacked these group of bandits by themselves. Or group of goblins by themselves. The AI doesn't seem like it could fend very good by itself. Even though they're level 5 apparently and these guys are only level 3. But, you know, what can you really do? Oh, I guess I'll sit here. That's fine. Oh, he noticed me. Alright, well, this is pretty much the end of the review. This is all I got to say about the game for right now. And um, if this helped you out in looking to buy this game, then I'm glad I could help you. Uh, I do, however, recommend the game. The game is, in my opinion do for greatness and the developers are very active within the community especially on the discord who answer a lot of the questions from the community and there's also early access beta that you can get involved with to help out developers and telling them what you think should be better and shit like that uh but this is it this is going to be me signing off if you like the video please consider giving it a like if you uh really enjoyed the video please consider subscribing and i'll see you guys next time peace